How's everybody doing? Okay? Yeah. Thank you for being here. Let me just say this. Um, I, I, my name is Catherine Cortez Masto. I am the first female senator from the state of Nevada and the first Latina ever elected to the United States Senate. But I tell you that because the reason why I'm here is because so many hard-working Latinos in Nevada got out and supported me and elected me to be here to be their voices. And if you don't know this, one in five Nevadans is an immigrant. And I will tell you, we are here today to send a clear message to this administration that it is not okay to separate parents and their children. That it is unacceptable, it is inhumane, and it is not who we are as Americans. I have watched, it started during his presidential campaign, but I have watched as this president has taken it on rhetoric that attacks our immigrant communities. And he's brought that hateful rhetoric and actions to the White House. He has rescinded DACA. He has rescinded the TPS that protects our hardworking families. He has deported over a thousand, thousand immigrants who have been living in this country for decades. And now, with his zero tolerance policy, he wants to separate kids from their parents who have come to the border for protection and help. That is inhumane. That is not America. That is not our values. We have been demanding, and I have been demanding, and my colleagues have been demanding from this administration even a policy that shows how they're going to handle and work with and protect these children and reunify them with their parents. Do you think there's a policy out there? No, I haven't seen it. What we have seen is their actions, and their actions show that they don't care about these families. They don't care about these kids. They don't care about how they're treated, You reunifying them with their parents, and they certainly don't care the trauma and the impact they're going to have long-term on these children and their families. And that's what this fight is about. As Americans, we know that we should always look out for the best interests of our children and our families. We have laws in this country to do just that. So with all of our voices today and many more, we are not going to stop fighting to protect these families and keep them together. And here's the other thing. We are going to call on all of my colleagues in Congress to pass laws that protect these families. Because I'll tell you, I have co-sponsored three bills. Keep Our Families Together Act, yeah. Yeah. Right? Health Separated Children Act, yeah. and the Fair Day in Court Act that we must pass. And I'm calling on all of you. Help me get my colleagues, all my colleagues, those on the other side of the aisle to send a message that this is not okay and we're going to pass this legislation and we're going to send it to this administration to make the changes to protect these families. With your help, let's 